Welcome. I'm Professor Herrick, and welcome to Multimedia Essentials Crafting Digital Experiences. Let's jump right in. Here we are. We come to week six of this course, the moment we've been waiting for, or I've been waiting for, which is building our portfolio, which is the major capstone of this course. As you know, there is no test quiz at the end. It's all about your portfolio so that you leave this class with something you can really be proud of. So in this unit, taking a look at some of the things we're going to achieve, you're going to create a design layout using Google Sites. You're going to demonstrate mastery of graphic design images, videos, text for the purposes of creating brand messaging and a strong layout, which we're emphasizing in every part of this course. And you're going to be able to articulate the importance of user experience and interaction design in presenting your work. And finally, the fun part, you're going to publish to the web and share your link externally. So in this quick 10 minute lesson, do not fear. Um, I have some demos on my YouTube channel um, featuring the navigation and layout using Google Sites. And to jump into Google Sites, you can go right here. But for a moment, let's talk about why we want to do this. So the importance of having a portfolio. This is all about showcasing, showcasing your skills and your achievements, but also building a really great positive online presence. You want to be able to stand out in the job market so that, you know, you want to find things about yourself that you are proud to bring out, whether that's great samples you've designed in this class, something in your culture, or something that you've achieved in the past that you really want um, companies to know about you when you go out there networking and job searching, or maybe building that great entrepreneurial idea or submitting for something artistic. The benefits of using Google Sites. Now, if you want to Make the case for some other tool that you're comfortable with. I'm open to that. Um, I want people to work how they're comfortable. And certainly there's a million tools. But Google Sites, it's free of charge. It's got a great user-friendly interface where, where you're going to be able to jump right in. And it integrates with the Google ecosystem. So it's very easy for you to add in your writing samples and different things I think are important for this. Um, and also included in my rubric, which we'll get to in a moment, as well as being able to customize customized options. So choosing from a variety of templates, color schemes, fonts, um, all to, you know, hit those professional notes and personal style you want to bring in. One quick note here, you can no longer get to Google Sites using the waffle on a free account. So I do find it's most beneficial just to Google Google Sites bring this up and begin from there. I've included some helpful links here about how to attach your Google Drive to Canvas, if that's something that you'd like to do. And also some support that we have on campus here for um, online research and writing for the writing samples that are a part of this project. I also have some really cool examples of Google Sites here in case you thought it was a little something too simple, um, just to get your, you know, your mind going. And my own portfolio. So you could check out what I use. These are living, breathing documents. They're never quite done. It's something you're going to start working on and then you're going to keep working on. And other things I think are cool, like Adobe portfolios, some other venture capital pitch decks I think are cool. Um, and other things about building an online digital portfolio. If you do jump over to, I did want to show you quickly. So you're going to do it here. Today, also at the end, you're going to do this Q&A um, where you're going to be able to start with some pre-research, thinking about where are you gathering your files? So are you using things from this class? Is there something else you'd like to showcase to tell your story? Um, maybe you're at a loss and you just don't know. This is a great place to post it for this week's discussion thread. And then students, please weigh in on two replies and help each other out so that you can go ahead and come up with something great you're supporting each other. Um, I do want to point out at the end here, you will be adding in your portfolio editions of 2D, 3D video. Um, remember, you're going to get to choose what you're interested in, whether that's podcasts, audio editing, um, or something else, 3, 3D editing like Blender or Unity. And so you'll put this in here. And at the very end, you're going to have this really beautiful um, 
portfolio. But here under the formative assessment is a rubric to give you your guide for this first step, um, which it does require that you select a theme, uh, design a layout, have at least two pages, three images, two videos, and two writing samples. So let's go ahead and let's jump right in. You start right here at the top. This is going to take you over to Google Sites. And uh, you have two options. You could do the template gallery. And notice there's like some portfolios that are already here in the templates that get you going quickly with the structure. This is the layout, not to be confused with the theme, which is all about the colors and so forth, which I'll show you in a minute. It does have three built-in pages. However, you wanna be cautious if you use one of these layouts that um, you make sure that you're hitting you know, all the requirements that are there in the rubric for you. So let's go ahead, let's start with a blank one. And you're going to about to see how user friendly and easy this is. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with my name. And then I've got to give it some si kind of a site name. Um, so I'm just calling this Victoria portfolio for the moment. Okay. It's as easy as this choosing my image. I could upload one or select one, something that's going to look good here on the header. And I can even select the header type that I prefer. So I could change up the way this is looking. And then over here on this side is where you really first, you wanna take a look at those themes. Themes are gonna set the color. So quickly, you can see how it changes. There's not a lot of content in here yet, but it can control the fonts, the colors, my subtly, my other colors I can select here. We've gone over these hex colors in the past, so I could match to a hex color that I have some going with something else. Now I want to go ahead and I want to um, insert some of these content guidelines here for my images, like I was talking about. Um, but this makes it so simple here. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and select um, and then put my text on the side. To add a video, I'm going to show you this. I have this video open. This is my um, Google Sites tutorial I was talking about. So that's a good sample, I feel like. I just copy that URL and then I'm po you know, pasting it right there. Select it, now it's the thumbnail. Now I go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and hit select. And it should pop up, there it is, okay. If I wanna add in some of my writing samples, say I'm gonna start with this Google Slides. I can stick in my Google Slides. The thing I want you to keep in mind here is that I have to make this so that the share settings, which we've gone over in the past, are good for, you know, anyone would be able to view the link. Otherwise, it turns up as broken. Now, in order to add a page, and again, this is all on the demos I have on YouTube, I add my page here. I want to do maybe something about me, talking about me. And then for next one, I could go with, photos if i have some photography i want to showcase and then this one it could be samples and then if i'm like hey i don't like that i want to change that um i'll call that my writing all right and that gives me more than my two pages that i was talking about as being required now how to publish this so you could turn it in for your first assignment i simply hit publish it's going to give me a chance to make a custom domain we're not going to bother with that here we'll call this Victoria's class portfolio, All right? Okay, it says it's okay. I hit publish and then I go ahead. Now the carrot has appeared there and I'm gonna go view publish site. And now I can see, it's gonna take a moment to load my beautiful publish site. I copy that and I head back over to the assignment, which is here. And then I go over to where the assignment, you know, entry hole is there and I copy and paste my link and I hit submit. We will, just so you're aware, we will have a peer review on this where you'll be taking a look at each other's work and giving each other some kind of a critique. Um, so as you're working on these things, think about, hey, what would you like to say? Or what questions do you have? Or how can you collaborate with your team um, and your group mates? Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so happy and I'm so excited to see your work. I can't wait. Thank you for joining me this evening.